Is it hard to believe that 13 years ago, Finding Nemo came out and now we get a sequel? We're here tonight at Brand Theaters watching Finding Dory. It's crazy to think 13 years ago, Finding Nemo came out, shocked moviegoers around the world with the beautiful colors and the fish and a compelling story. Do you think Disney, Pixar can do it again? The answer is yes, they can do it again. This was like a throw up and grand slam out of the park. From beginning to end, the movie had such a deep story, such character development of a character Dory you already love and know. You get to know more about her, her backstory, her memory loss. Because if you remember the first one, she's looking for her family. This one, they get to go back to that. And the movie does a great way of Dory's origins, then kind of recap of how she met Marlin, and then Dory's story. Gotta say, I did tear up in the beginning and a little bit kind of towards the end-ish. It just, it, it got my heartstrings just kind of the animation actually is a lot better this time around than back then. I noticed the clownfish, you can kind of see scales and see more details of fish. I mean, yeah, the detail was good back then, but this one is, thing is a lot better. They had more stuff to work with. So they're not in Australia now. They're going to California, Morro Bay, California. So they get to have some shenanigans over there. The way they did the story, love the story. Like that's good writing, that's good dialogue, that's good emotions, good everything across the board. All the characters new and old, Idris Elba, if you didn't know, this is his third Disney voice work. Uh, he's a big black sea lion, and you know, remember the first one, the seagulls, my, my, my. Well, this one, the, the seals, off, off, off. Super funny, like super funny. They do that a couple times in there. Stay to the end of the credits, I promise you. Staying to the end of the credits is absolutely worth it. Super worth it. 13 years in the making, worth it. Great solo movie, great whatever you want it to be to go see the movie, go see it, I encourage it. But the colors are there, the, the voice acting is there, it's solid, it's a 10 10 out of 10. Not because it's Disney Pixar, because Disney's made some crap before and I have like The Black Cauldron, not a great movie. It's worth it. I'm gonna say, in my own opinion, this was better than Finding Nemo, just because the story was a lot deeper, a little more emotional, a lot of how impactful Dory is to other people and her surroundings and everything else. And I like how Disney says, it's okay to be different, but they're not in your face about it. Let's see what the other sushi bits had to say. Let's check that out right now. I really enjoyed it. I'm a big fan of the original Finding Nemo movie and it was nice to get more into the characters than before and see like Dory's backstory and um, I really enjoyed that a lot. Basically this movie was a fun version of Memento, applicable to families. It's a family-friendly version of Memento. And I'm a big fan of the first movie. Who wouldn't be a fan of the first movie? It's really one of the best animated films of all time. Won the Oscar that year for best animated feature. Obviously it's a tough act to follow. Such a good movie a long time to wait but in the first few minutes you are back in this world with the same characters that you remember and you love. Ellen DeGeneres and Albert Brooks are just back and they're just as good as they were in the first film. I feel it's very different than the first movie. The first movie you're traversing this extremely large area and you're getting almost like in I guess you could say stages or acts of a play where it's it's split up into these different events that happen where I feel that this movie was a little more contained while you're still constantly moving from location to location, the actual geographic area that you're moving around it is very, it's very confined, so it's very different. The view and the scenery and the scenes are very similar. You're not gonna get anything too incredibly varied in this movie. Not necessarily a bad thing, it's just very different from the first movie. Overall, the movie was absolutely fantastic. You feel the emotions you're supposed to feel, which is a Pixar movie, so you're gonna cry at least once. I'm, I'm pretty sure most of us did. Any of, any of us that have a heart did. Basically, you're best in this movie emotionally, and all Pixar movies have that effect on you. They do such a good job with the characters and they do such a good job with the character development and the believability and the emotions and the motivations behind these characters that even though it's an animated fish, you relate to it enough where you care about it and you want to see whatever it's trying to do succeed. Obviously they improved in 13 years. The animation was great. It was fun to see old friends and meet some new ones. And I think this is a good movie for all ages. Um, whether you're an adult or a kid, you're really going to enjoy this movie. There's probably like a dozen new characters. They're all just as fun and entertaining to watch as the first movie. There was literally no time that I was watching this movie that I wasn't enjoying myself. Right. In different ways. Sometimes it's just laugh out loud funny. 
sometimes you're really caught up in the emotion of like, are her parents there? Where are they? You know, is she gonna see them? Where are they? Are you know? And each time that you you think you're you're, you're gonna get something, the story moves around a little bit. And even when you think, okay, this is definitely the end, it's, it's over now, and it's not. There's more, and it just gets better and better. I always talk about being immersed in movies, and Pixar movies have a way about them that immerse you in the movie more than any other movie type I've seen. Looking back at most of their movies, you can see that, but this movie is no different. You get very invested in the characters. It's been probably 10 plus years since I've seen the first movie. It's been a long time, close to when it came out, but yet I still cared about these, these, these characters. I still wanted to see more of them. I still wanted to jump back into their lives, and that's very important. So on a scale of one to 10, what are you gonna give this one? Oh, I give us a 10. <laughs> like, I loved have it. To ask? Damn. <laughs> it's tough for me to give a number to this movie because on the rank of Pixar film, there's so many great movies that would be tens, like The Incredibles, Toy Story 3, uh, that's a high bar to live up to. But just as a movie, not comparing it to other Pixar films, this is a truly a 10 out of 10 film, and I recommend it to what? anyone to watch. Well, I'm no different. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. You really, really become invested in the journey of this movie, and I think that the first movie you're so devoted, and in this movie you're even more devoted to the movie. I think that's to their credit. I actually like this movie more than I like the first movie. This movie had more heart. I guess is the best way to put it. It's one of those movies, one of those animated films that it doesn't matter how old you are, you're gonna love it. That says something because we've watched a lot of animated films lately that some of them are funny, some of them are aimed for a specific group of eight, age group. But group of eight year olds. A group of eight year olds. <laughs> this movie specifically appeals to everyone and it does so in a way that you're all gonna leave the theater smiling. In the sea of movies we've had over the last few years, a movie that just makes you feel good and that you leave the theater smiling, I think it's very important, and I think it plays a very important role in what movies are nowadays. There needs to be more feel-good movies like this. Question for you this week, what is the best Disney Pixar movie? Toy Story does not count. I'm kidding, put it down there. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Like this video, favorite it, share it, like us on Facebook. And remember, you heard it here at The Source. Go on ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. That was you tell it already. Done so. Go on ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. What the hell are you What doing? am I doing? Why are you saying if you that? Haven't... Done, if you haven't done it already, if you haven't done so, that's it. <laughs> if you haven't done it already. <laughs> we forgot. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Mother. <laughs> subscribe to the channel. I want you to subscribe. Subscribe for more subscribe? videos. Now you're subscribe. Gonna... I am drunk. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's not really drunk. I'm high on life. Jeez. I'm live. That's how Drunk you know you're online, old, right? Lustful <laughs> life. All right. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Like this video, favorite it, share it, like us on Facebook. Seriously, subscribe for this. Remember, subscribe. You know what? I'm not even <laughs> gonna try and do it. I'm trying to do something new. It's not working. And so, what are we watching tonight? Finding Dory. Finding Dory. Do you like Finding Nemo? Yes. Is that one of our favorites at home? We watch it a lot. Mm -hmm. Did you laugh in this movie? Yeah. Was it sad? Did you like Baby Dory? She was cute, huh? Mm -hmm. You wanted to pinch her little cheeks. Who was your favorite fish? Who was your favorite character? Dory. Dory? What about the big uh, whale shark? Destiny. Do you like Destiny? What do you want to give this? A 10. A 10? Yeah? Everybody go see it? Mm -hmm. Alright. Mm -hmm. Wave to him.